Welcome, geologists, to Waterton International Peace Park. This is the Canadian side of Glacier National Park in Montana, just on the Canadian border. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple of important things that are happening there and then some scenic views. This area is highly impacted by rock deformation, indicating that there's been substantial faulting and folding in the region. Some at places of which are very famous for faults because uh, in some cases there's been thrust faulting that shoved uh, older sedimentary rock layers onto younger sedimentary rock layers. And that's what thrust faults do. In addition to having faults and folds, this area has been carved out by glaciers. And I'll show you a profile here of uh, the Waterton area. There's only several ways to get here. You can uh, bike down the sides of these forests that you see here, drive or boat, but you can't, there are no roads. I mean, you really can't drive in the sense of a car. You've got to have all-terrain vehicles. So you still have to have a passport if you hike in from the United States, and there is a place at the a border, and I'm going to point that out to you right here, where approximately the United States border is located. In addition to being uh, famous for this beautiful landscape, this area is also famous for the Prince of Wales Hotel. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. It's a beautiful place, and there's a good reason why people come to see this location. Besides the incredible wilderness and beauty, that's been left behind by the last ice age. You must focus in on the key components related to our lessons right now, which is faulting. So I'm going to zoom in on a fault that's in the walls of this Precambrian rock, and I want you to try to determine what type of stress would have created this fault to form. Was it compression, tension, or shearing? See if you can find the head wall and the foot wall to determine what type of fault it is. We will see you at the next stop.